On today's show, I want to show you how I did a quick and easy update of my basement floor lamps by making a couple of golden blooming lotus lampshades. And I'll show you how you can make these yourself using a couple of sheets of paper and a little acrylic paint. Coming up next. To make my lampshades, I'm using a couple of gold round baskets that I got from Dollar Tree a couple of small round magnetic tin containers, white copy paper, your house of home metallic acrylic paint, scissors, and the hot glue gun. Okay, so as you know, if you've been watching the show, I have bought quite a few of these golden round baskets. I really loved them and I picked up a bunch of them at Dollar Tree. I made a couple of lampshades with this already and um, this is the last of my supply. So I'm going to use this also to make a new lampshade. What I'm going to do is, um, like any other videos, I'm going to cut the bottom part of this basket so that there's an opening for the light. And I am using my uh, long nose pliers for this. And what I am going to do is just sort of wiggle back and forth gently until the wire snaps and it will break right at the point where I have the pliers. So I'm just gonna go around and open up that rectangle that's at the bottom of this basket. Okay, so now I have an opening at the bottom and I want my light fixture to fit through here. Um, this shade is gonna go on a floor lamp that I have in the basement. And to attach it to the fixture that is on the floor lamp, I'm using the top of this magnetic um, tin container. There's a clear piece that is inside the circle. I'm cutting that out with my X-Acto knife because I just want the open circle part of this top. So now I'm going to take this ring and I am going to attach it to the lampshade right in the center. I'm attaching it right side up from the inside and I'm just going to center it right there so that the um, the edges will touch the bars. And I'm using Gorilla hot glue sticks to glue this together. I'm putting some glue right on the um, bars where the ring will be attached. And I'm going to turn this upside down and also put glue on the other side of the bars. So I want to sandwich that the bars in between the round piece and uh, um, the outside of the bars just to make sure it stays on really well. I'm putting a lot of glue on here. And then I'll just set that aside and let that dry. So I want to make what looks like a flower, some flower petals, almost like a lotus flower. So I'm going to take a few sheets of paper. Um, I think I'll make about 24 petals. So maybe six sheets of paper. I'm going to fold that in half and then fold it in half again so that I'll have four petals um, per sheet. And I'm drawing a pretty fat petal on here. I try to fill up most of the page and then cut that out. And cut the petals completely out. You don't want them to be attached. They're gonna be separate petals each. And I wanna make sure these will fit on my shade these petals are about five inches tall, and I think I'll do about three levels of petals going from the top to the bottom. So you could leave these petals white if you like. I think they would make a beautiful white floral petal shade, but I want to paint these a golden color. I think that it would look nice with a golden glow. So I'm using my gold metallic paint and I'm just gonna brush on some strokes. Doesn't have to be perfect. You could do a texture if you like, or just a gold glaze. I think I might just um, do some nice even strokes of gold 
So I'm gonna paint all the petals this golden color just to give it a nice golden glow. This paint goes on transparent in layers, so it's gonna be really light. So I painted all my petals in two batches and I let them dry and I sit a book on top of them to flatten them out. And here they are nice and dry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to give them some shape. I grouped them in stacks of six and I'm gonna take the stack and fold it in half to make a spine down the middle. I'm gonna open that group up and use the end of this paintbrush to roll the edges. I'm gonna roll the top and the bottom edges on both sides of the petal and that will make it look more like a real petal. So I'm just gonna separate these and continue making petals with the remaining stacks. So now that all my petals are shaped, I'm gonna start by attaching my petals to my lampshade. And I'm gonna attach them to the top part first. I'm gonna use some hot glue on the bar, the top on the um, middle portion of the bar. I put a little hot glue and then stick the petal right there that, so that it goes right above the top of the shade and the bottom part of the petal is right at the middle. So for this top level, I'm going to put a petal every other bar all the way around. The second level will go down a little in between the first two petals in the middle all the way around. And for the bottom level, I am going to bend the bottom of the leaf around the bottom of the bar so that it sort of covers the bottom a little bit and it's also in between the level that's above it. Something like this. And I also go around and glue some of those petals together where it needs to be just to close the flower up a little bit. And since I have a few petals left over, I think I'm gonna put some petals in the inside just to neaten it up a little bit. And I think I am done with my petal flower shade. Now let's just add this to my floor lamp and see how it lights up. Now this is what my floor lamp originally looked like. I got it from Walmart and it only cost $7. It has a plastic shade. And right now I'm replacing it with my petal shade. So I'm just gonna attach it with this piece that came with the light to tighten it up. Then I'll add a light bulb. And for this I'm using an LED light bulb, a traditional light bulb gets really hot, but the LED light bulb puts off very little heat. So this will be perfect with the paper shade. So it turned out to be a very pretty light fixture. And with the lights turned on, it's even more beautiful. My kids use this room to work and play and they really love the new lighting. I love how it has a nice warm glow and with the light shining through, the petal shapes are really defined. It really does look like an expensive designer fixture and you would never think that this was a quick and easy project made out of paper. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you all in the next video. Want more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. 
You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. Put all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. You can now get separate e-project booklets and also full color printed project booklets will be available on Amazon. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and your